Howdy folks, Dan Rubino of Windows Phone Central, again here with the Nokia Lumia 920. I just want to give you a quick look at here at some of the um, customizations that Nokia have done on the system settings screen. There's just a few of them, but let's check them out. Accessories. Uh, I don't have any Nokia accessories associated with my phone. Presumably there'll be things like Bluetooth headsets, the uh, speakers, JBL speaker and that kind of thing. But uh, if I did have those, they would be here. And I guess you could probably do some advanced functions with them. It's the only reason I can think that to be listed. Scroll down a little bit, got audio equalizer. You see how my headphones plugged in. That's the only way they'll work. Uh, it's sort of like on HTC2. This isn't for the main speaker, just for headphones. But you got custom. And I believe there's 18 different settings here, which is quite a bit. And you take that. Of course, you can also manipulate them all your own. Oops. And of course, as soon as you do that, it just hops right. You saw a change to custom. Uh, so you can save them, which is kind of nice. But that's a pretty cool feature. I think a lot of people are going to really want that. Uh, we've heard you guys before ask for an equalizer, so there you go. That's only on Nokia's phones. And there's Dolby headphone, which you can turn on or off. It sounds really good, I have to admit. Uh, when you turn it on, it makes it sound like you're listening to in a room, almost. There's a little more of like an echo and reverb kind of thing going on. Uh, you have to listen to it yourself, but it is a nice change. But if you don't like it, you can manipulate it there. Display and touch. Only one setting in here, high, low, uh, or basically high and off. This is for the super sensitive touch screen. Uh, so when it's on high, you can use gloves to touch the screen. But for some reason, you know, some people have expressed, oh, what happens if the screen turns on and it's super sensitive? Well, guess what? Nokia took advantage of that and gave you a little switch. So no more complaints from you guys. Uh, <laughs> they kind of thought of everything there. Uh, so call an SMS. We've seen this on some other devices. Uh, it's basically just manipulation of some call and SMS settings, call waiting, that kind of thing. There's feedback to Nokia. So you can give little recommendations there, it was kind of neat. Your Nokia account. Obviously, I haven't actually launched this before. So you can sign in, create new. You can even use your Facebook account, which is kind of nice. And then extras plus info. That's actually what this is called. It's called Nokia Extras. And it is like a separate mini app. I've already had an update to it. And this looks like a way for Nokia to sort of keep customization, customizing and adding things to the Lumia 920 and I guess the 820 as well. Uh, so perhaps maybe we'll see some more things there. There's already been some rumors of a start screen organizer, which separates things from like games and apps. Uh, and they, that may be, if that's true, and we'll show you an image of that with this post, uh, that's probably going to come out of this extras and info thing. It's not part of the OS, but will be an add-on. So there you go. There's some of a look at the uh, Nokia Lumia customizations that you'll be able to find on this device real soon. Take care, Bonnie.